Hi everyone, this is both um, Juji and Duina on Adigale channel. Today we are going to be reviewing the Apple Watch, specifically Series 7, but honestly, the Apple Watch as a product in general. Our opener today would be Juji because she didn't want to talk, <laughs> honestly. Okay, so this is our Apple Watch, as you can tell, and Juji's gonna try and open it. Open the top, open the watch screen. <laughs> okay, while she's opening, we can talk about some of the technicalities of the watch. So the Series 7, Okay, we got this last year, even though Series 8 is the newest, we just kind of never got around to opening it. Which is okay, because now we have a video. Anyway, so the Series 7 is said to be the big- it has to have- yeah, it has the biggest screen and the thinnest borders while keeping the same screen or like, watch size. Technical things? Okay. And it's also the thickest, even though it's still heavy. Oh my god! It's <laughs> okay. It's it's a lightweight watch, but it is the heaviest of all the Apple series, and it is fifty percent thicker than all of them. And as you can tell, here's the cable, which is exactly what we need right now, Judy. <laughs> we need the watch. Okay. Well, here's that. Oh, and here's the actual screen. So you can tell it looks. It, you might not be able to tell, but it is thicker than all of the other ones, and it is in its casing right now. And so it has refractive edges to make a seamless connection to the screen. So then it also takes away some of the glare that can happen. Oh my god, Judy. So I've already explained the screen, and after some time to show that Judy can finally open it, here's the screen. It looks very slick, and you can tell how the refractive edges are bending into the screen to create a fine finish. Moving on to the actual technicalities of the watch. This watch has an 18 hour battery life, which means it'll probably last the entire day if you don't have it on the entire day. And um, here's the band as well, you can open this. And it charges 33% faster than all the other older series Apple watches. So it has um, three watch faces actually, meaning so there's analog clocks and digital clocks, etc. There is the contour, which is the same as the analog, and there's the modular duo, which is the digital. So we were on the second modular duo, which is basically just a digital clock. And right now what we're doing is we're opening the bands. And for these bands, there are actually several different kinds you can get. So this is um, with the design. There's various band colors and styles that can go with the Apple Series 7 and with the rest of the Apple Watches. It's upside down, <laughs> Okay. There's also... There's new aluminum case finishes, which we will get to later, but this is the band we have right now. As you can tell, it's kind of in, like a dark eggshell, maybe? Yeah. Like, you can tell the packing is really good on these, because the amount of trouble that Judy's having with it is like, a lot. Yeah! Okay, keep going. Let's see what's that. Okay, okay. <laughs> Also in the boxes, there comes two different band sizes for people with smaller hands and people with bigger hands. This is um, a thicker band and this is a thinner one. So this is the cable. Um, there's nothing special about the cable. It's just a normal Apple Watch cable. And obviously these cables um, go for all of the Apple Watches. So Apple Watches come with a magnetic charger. It's a little disc here and you can take this and just stick it on there and it is a magnet, you know? And it's not like um, when you have like 17 different Fitbits in your house, so you have 17 different chargers. It's just a magnet, so it's really nice. Okay, so this is the watch face. It's not on yet, but we're gonna assemble it really quick. We're gonna see if Judy can figure this out and put the bands in. Woohoo, go Judy. Awesome. Okay, so while she's doing this, let's talk about some of the features of the Apple Watch. Or sorry, okay, let's talk about first, let's talk about the screen. There are actually very high ratings for dust and water resistance. And obviously I've already said this, but the screen is really durable and it's, it has really good fall, um, what's it called? Fall technology, okay, <laughs> that is. And now what you do whenever you put it together is this almost like a little button looking thing and you're gonna push it through one of the holes. <laughs> okay, we finally got it together. So um, you can't see it, but the Apple Watch is very durable, so it has a crack-resistant front crystal. I'm not exactly sure what that looks like, but it's in there. I know it's that. Now we're gonna try and open it. 
Oh, also, before that, okay, so since we got the bands on, you may be wondering, how do we take these off if we want to change the color? Well, you press a little button, and show, show them the little button. We put it together, and I'll show the button. Those two buttons take off the bands. You can just slide them back out. Also, when you put in the bands, they should make a tiny little click, and if you don't hear that, then that probably means you went wrong somewhere. Okay, we're gonna try and get it open now, or on, I mean. Let's see if it has charge after a year. So it was out of battery, we got it to charge. Now Judy's gonna try and um, turn it on. Let's see what happens. There's the on button, I'm assuming. <laughs> There it is, there's the little Apple logo. Hello. Okay, well it's turning on, and we're gonna start talking about some of the features of the Apple Watch as it turns on. So once it turns on, it shows us this thing where it says, bring iPhone near Apple Watch, and that's exactly what you do. Now I guess this is one of the things about the Apple Watch. Um, you have to have an iPhone for an Apple Watch. It's, it's called marketing. Okay, so it's really cool because it shows multiple different languages. And I'm not going to make any assumptions on what they are, but there are several Asian languages and um, Spanish as well. So that's really cool. Let's see if Judy can figure out how to get it to work. I'm assuming you're going to go to a settings in your um, get near. iPhone. To bring it to the iPhone. Yeah. Oh, this iPhone. Oh my oh. god, no. <laughs> Not bad. Those aren't notes. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, that was too <laughs> Okay, once you show the Apple Watch to the iPhone, there's going to be a download and install button, and Judy's going to click that for us now. And you have to enter your passcode, which we're not going to show. Um... Oh, okay, and there are terms and conditions which you'd press agree to. You need to read them, Judy. Thanks for watching, um, we hope this video was very helpful and good luck setting up your new Apple Watch Series 7, 8, whichever one you want to get. Once you set up your Apple Watch, you can check all of the health and wellness apps on the Apple Watch as well as on your phone, so it can be really helpful to keep a healthy lifestyle, including watching your sleep respiratory rate, I think, and as well as your heartbeat and other things like that. So it's a very helpful watch to have.